The final thing we're going to work with in stereochemistry are fissure projections. And fissure projections are just a different way to represent molecules and their 3D arrangements without using the dash and the wedge notation that we're so used to. So let's take a look at a pair of enantiomers and we're going to convert these to fissure projections. Here's our two enantiomers and what I want you to imagine doing is kind of the same way we did with Newman projections. Think about standing on the left side of this molecule and viewing this in this direction. So you can think about standing there. If you're standing there, your right arm's coming out of the page, your left arm's going into the page. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side, except just looking from the other direction. If you're standing on this side, your left arm's coming out and your right arm's going in. So now what you want to do is draw this molecule from this perspective. From this perspective, pointed up is the methyl, pointed down, kind of away from you, is the hydrogen. So these groups, if you're looking in this direction, these two groups are pointed back away from you, the viewer. So let's put those on dashes. And then the fluorine and the chlorine are pointed toward you, the viewer. So we're going to put those on wedges. And on the left side is the fluorine. On the right side is the chlorine. Okay, we can recolor code these. All right, now before we go any further, um, I just want to mention how useful molecular models are when doing Fisher projections. And in fact, I want to show you this molecule as a model and how we're viewing this Fisher projection. Here are our two enantiomers and we're focusing on the one on the left and from the front viewpoint we have in the plane the hydrogen and the methyl group the chlorine pointed out towards you, the fluorine pointed away from you. But now envision looking at this from this side. If you're looking at it from this side, we're essentially looking at it like this. When you're viewing this from this side, you can see how the methyl is pointed back away from you, but upwards. The hydrogen is pointed back away from you, but downwards. The fluorine, which is the red atom, that's on the left. The chlorine, which is a green atom, is on the right. So that's just the viewpoint of the Fisher projection. We're going from looking in this direction to looking along this carbon like this. We can now do the same thing with the other enantiomer. Again, from viewing on this other side, still we have the methyl at the top, and that's coming back off of the carbon in the middle, and then coming back going down is the hydrogen. But if you're standing on the other side of the page, now the chlorine 
is on your left and the flooring is on your right, both pointed toward you, the viewer. Even from this perspective, you can see that these two molecules are mirror images. We can do this using the model of the other enantiomer. So we're working with this one, but we're viewing from this side. So viewing from that side, if you look at this, from that side we have going back away from you vertically, the methyl on top, the hydrogen on the bottom, the chlorine on the left, and the fluorine on the right, and those two are coming out toward you. We're not quite done, however, because with Fisher projections, they follow very strict definitions, and you really don't need to draw in these dashes and wedges. In fact, we can draw these Fisher projections as simple crosses. Here's our first enantiomer. Still have our mirror plane. and our second enantiomer. When you see a Fisher projection, you automatically know that where there's a cross, that's a chiral center. And there's strict definitions that go along with this. The first is that the horizontal bonds point out towards you. So on this, we have our horizontal bonds we know by definition they point out towards you. A simple mnemonic for this, you know, think about this almost like a bow tie. And a bow tie, if it's on a person, it's horizontal. So that's what the horizontal bonds are. And then the opposite is the case for the vertical bonds. The vertical bonds, by definition, point back. So when you see the Fisher projection, you know all the vertical bonds are pointed backwards.